Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Persona 5 Plat 100% walkthrough. This is of course part 74 if I'm correct which I have actually zero idea if I am. I'm just going to assume I am and pray I am and let's keep going. So for now we are just coming off the story related thing of Sai helping us break out of jail or not die in jail to a kitschy as well as finishing the Sai boss fight which was very fun and uh, now we get to play the game and actually go to the next palace which of course is Shido's palace if you guys actually continue the game and you do not get the bad ending so first let's get into it uh, here they arrested one of the fan thieves no way I didn't expect him to commit suicide he's a murderer he deserved to die we can finally breathe easily now he killed himself huh I guess we'll never know his motivation I just want to say that I feel like you know the game is a little mean it's a, it's a little mean but you know, it is what it is, but, um, yeah, that's for you. Um, I hope you guys have been enjoying the series. I'm very thankful for all the support and things. We had a great January and a great February month, and that's uh, thanks to all of you. I'm exhausted. I feel like my consciousness is about to fade away, but <sighs> thanks to all the help that you gave me, um, th th we are continuing on the Persona playthrough. We have the Terraria playthrough coming out. The Resident Evil playthrough is finished, but there's been a little bit of a... A little bit of an interest in a little bit more Resident Evil, so we might be coming out to some more survival mode, trophy guides, etc. for the Resident Evil HD remastered. So, guys, keep it up. Keep keep watching the channel. Good things are to come. Hopefully, one of these days we can get streaming up and going. And I'm just very excited for where the channel is headed and the direction it's been heading these last two months. If it continues at this rate, it will be beautiful. Hey, are you alright? Don't fall asleep until we reach our destination. Are you listening? Could this be the effect of the drug wearing off? The memories I thought were gone are starting to come back. <clears throat> are you listening? I am. Anyway, we need to talk about how to get out of the situation. Futaba's monitoring of Akechi's phone has confirmed it. He did indeed have an ulterior motive. It's on a completely different level than just that. Not only was he trying to frame us, but he was the true culprit behind the mental shutdowns. His offer to assist us was simply a plot to frame the Phantom Thieves and kill Platinum Kun. If we go into Sis's palace, as, a, as he suggests, we are likely to be met by a large ambush of police forces. To think he would go this be this far gone, I know now what it means to put a chill down my spine. Furthermore, he wishes to bring a police squad from reality into the palace. If the eight of us can enter at once, it's not inconceivable to think a larger group is possible. He may even be able to bring in vehicles or other special pieces of equipment. So this really was just a setup to shift the blame onto us. I mean, it was really well thought out. He made us go after Okamura and then once we triggered the change of heart, he killed him. And he told us he had seen the true culprit, but it was him the entire time. The whole time he was working with Makoto's sister, he was really just some homicidal maniac. Come on, we gotta take that bastard Akechi down. Isn't that recording? We got enough proof to do it? No, Akechi is merely a tool. His orders come from elsewhere. The grand master mind behind this all. An unimaginable fiend capable of arresting the murder, arranging the murder of a suspect of a, of a police station. Unless we find out who that is, we will continue being targeted even if we defeat Akechi. But what means do we have to learning of learning his identity? We'll have to make a kitchen say it, though once we do, the mastermind will likely eliminate us. I think that will be the case eventually, regardless of whether or not we learn his identity. The only reason it hasn't happened yet is because we're an easy target to blame for his crimes. If he realizes that they're no longer possible and abandons our plan, he may opt to kill us immediately. Damn it, so we didn't got a choice but to go with what that bastard suggests. But if we go into the palace as told, Platinum will get arrested and then murdered by Kechi. Palace. The palace? Actually, there's something I'd like to say regarding. Ah, we can use the palace to our advantage. W what's this all of a sudden? There's a way. A way to get past the Kechi and get, that mo get the moss mine to lay off us, all while learning his identity. Really? You gotta be kidding me! If he wants to kill Platinum, why not let him? That is, inside the palace. Yes, we could have him kill the cognitive Platinum Kun all the while believing he killed the real one. Yes, that's it. It seems that's our only option. Listen close everyone, I have a plan for how we can carry this operation out. Between Futaba and Makoto, we probably got the two smartest people in the world, so we're fine. 
ever since the death of their teenage leader, the Phantom Thieves have fallen silent. However, the police intend on continuing this investigation until the case is fully solved. I'm sorry I'm late. I had to finish a few things at work. Where are they? Waiting upstairs. Go tell them to come on down. I'm going to fetch him. You mean, what does he mean when he says, I'm going to fetch him? Am I at, like, his You're house, or? Her sister, correct? Yeah, the much harder version. Makoto, Makoto told me everything. Futaba-chan, I'm sorry that I caused you so much trouble this past summer. Eh, it's ancient history now. But man, that goddamn detective. Look who's here. Hey, you big bastard. How've you been? <laughs> Ghostly. You're not floating. It truly is a relief to see your face. I bet that moron Akechi don't even know we tricked him yet. Still, how'd you pull this off? Isn't this guy considered dead? You weren't told anything? I heard my sister brought him here, though. Yeah, she came over in a taxi, dumped him off, and told me to keep him safe. It was right after they announced he had died, too. Almost gave me a heart attack. I didn't have time to explain. Hey, shouldn't we tell Boss what really happened? We wanted to make our enemy believe the leader of the Phantom Thieves was dead. What? What we did was make that enemy kill his fake in the metaverse. Uh, hold, hold on a sec. Enemy? Fake? What are you talking about? The true culprit behind all these incidents set us up. Our goal here was to determine their identity. True culprit? I see. So you guys were going up against someone else. It was Goro Akechi. You knew beforehand that he was the traitor, didn't you? Who, me? Uh, Akechi messed up, I guess. Akechi himself gave us the chance to strike back. He made one fatal mistake. Couldn't you have just said from the beginning that Akechi was the real culprit? That wasn't something we could simply bring up. We couldn't have you suspect Akechi. Besides, neither you nor the other investigators would have believed something like that, would you? True. Akechi was credited with the arrest of the Phantom Thieves. Not even I would think he was the culprit. In other words, you left him alone on purpose. That was a bold move. God, I can't keep up with any of this stuff. Uh, so what was this mistake Akechi made? What did he do? He slipped up in regards to Morgana's voice. You mean a cat? Yes, Morgana can talk. Uh, uh, sorry, was that supposed to be a joke? Oh, our apologies. That's completely true. You surprised? Does that mean he said something just now as well? But you don't understand him, do you? That's how it was for all of us at first, too. When you're in the metaverse, Mona talks like a normal person. Once you hear that and your brain realizes he can actually talk, you start to understand him in reality. It's a change in cognition, most likely. Thanks to Akechi's lame acting, we figured out something was up. When we talked to Akechi at the school festival, he was acting like he just realized Mona could talk. But we already saw him drop a mega hint about it way earlier. Oh, I know a place! I want to go to that huge pancake-looking place we passed on the way here! Oh, am I mistaken? I thought I heard something about delicious pancakes. Mona was the only one who was talking about a pancake. That meant Akechi'd already been in the metaverse by then. And since
since he was lying to us about that, we assumed he had a hidden motive behind contacting us. It seemed odd upon further thought. His reaction to my pancake comment was an honest one after all. We got lucky, I guess. That said, we weren't so naive to overlook something like that. That's why we asked Batabachan to wiretap his phone. I pretended to be interested in checking the phone out, but I was actually planting my app. My heart was pounding while I was doing it, though. Even that ace detective could never have imagined a program being installed so quickly. Futaba's quirky nature proved to be a great help. That was just an act! After a few days of listening, this confirmed his betrayal. Then I'll guide the police into her palace and have them catch the phantom thieves in the act. That would be the only way to arrest them, given their methods. I'll deal with them after that. Let me see. We could say he stole the guard's gun and committed suicide during his imprisonment. How about that? Public security questioning will occur on the first day. And with that room, my task will be simple. Is this for real? Yes, the guard will be one of ours. We'll have to eliminate him after to destroy the evidence, though. So they plan to get rid of that guard from the beginning. Well then, I will make the arrangements the day after the arrest. And thus, the dangerous criminal responsible for the mass mental shutdowns shall end his own life. When he does, you will become a great hero who saved Japan from evil. As will I, of course. I knew he was acting strangely, but to think he was this far gone... He's no ace detective. Akechi is the perpetrator behind the mental shutdown crimes. On top of that, there's someone else commanding Akechi. Someone with great authority. So great that they can order an assassination in a police station. That's why we had to make a move before they did. I see. We baited Akechi into Sis's palace, making him dispose of our leader's fake, but think he killed him. Can you elaborate on that in more detail? What exactly happened in my cognitive world? We're sorry for using you without your permission. Your palace had all the conditions we needed. What conditions? First, we required a place inside the cognitive world that was the same as in reality. That place is based on the real world after all. Anywhere that's not warped looks just like normal. That's why nobody but the person who uses the nav even realizes they're in the metaverse. Back with Kamoshida, we came in from the station without even noticing. That does bring back memories for me, actually. I kind of really miss that. Totally I really like that area. There ain't any distortions around. We had already investigated Nijima-san's palace when Makoda brought the suggestion to us. I was seriously impressed by that suggestion. To be honest, I didn't quite understand it, but I went along with it. We had to trust it. Of course, we trust Makoto. And it was absolutely the best decision we could have made. Makoto is normally so calm as well, but once her mind is set, she gets oddly impulsive. I did have a bit of a rivalry forming with Akechi. But I just couldn't contain myself anymore once you became a target, sis. The reason I joined the Phantom Thieves was to heal your heart, after all. My own achievements were all that mattered to me. I was desperate. I wasn't myself at all. I'm sorry I couldn't see that. That goes for the both of us. We heard from Mako-chan that you were going to do the interrogation, Nijima-san. And regarding its location, I take it you use the data from my laptop? I'm sorry. <laughs> Go on. There were two things we were able to confirm while we were checking the metaverse. First, our clothes didn't change when we were down in the interrogation room. Second, 
The scenery and details outside of the palace proper were the same as in the real world. Once we heard that from Makoto, we secretly went to check it out without a catchy knowing. There was also one more thing we absolutely needed to make this work. A perfect cognitive replica of him in the Metaverse's interrogation room. Since he had yet to be caught, though, there obviously wouldn't be anyone in that room. Once we saw the casino guests and police officers, we were convinced this would work. They looked no different from actual living people. After that, we just had to work our way into the palace like usual, while keeping it catchy in the dark. The big plot twist, guys. Everything went as planned up until we defeated Sis's shadow. However, it was then that we were met with a terrifying, unexpected police ambush. As a result, even though we managed to grab the treasure, we couldn't get it out of the metaverse. Except that was all an act. We had prepared an empty briefcase beforehand and merely acted like we were taking the treasure. This was because we knew the police would be coming for us. We made sure before the operation that the police would be waiting to ambush us. And just as expected, he totally took the bait. Him getting captured by the police went exactly how we planned it. And I had been interrogating him with no knowledge of this. But how did you lure Akechi into this cognitive world's interrogation room? All I needed were the coordinates. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize I need to talk yet. Oh, it seems like she used this laptop to remotely access the metaverse. Asking her about it now would drag the conversation on too long. I should talk to her later. No! I want to hear! I want to hear! And left thinking he had been victorious. I want to hear the type of story. It must have been truly hilarious for our leader who sat idly in the real world's interrogation room. Surely he was acting quite cocky by himself in that quiet chamber. <laughs> I was? I look awesome! So that's why you gave me your phone. I only took it because of what you told me. Ah, it's a shame I didn't have the opportunity to see that for myself. I couldn't see it either. There was no time. I'm just glad I didn't die. I'm just glad I didn't die, guys. All I could do was try to handle all the messages that started coming to me on his phone. Huh. So in other words, I've been to the metaverse. Albeit for a brief moment. In our experience, there is little danger when someone enters their own palace for so short a time. That's the other reason we had him give it to you. We needed you to listen to Alibaba, deceive the guard, and ultimately aid in his escape. By having you head back to the interrogation room, we could return you to the real world as well. I mean, I had to think of some way to keep you from running into a catchy mid-assassination. Huh. Astounding. I hadn't the slightest idea that such a grand operation was taking place within me. I'm so glad he was able to persuade you during the interrogation. Even though we knew Akechi's plan, we were pretty worried about that part. <laughs> True. Why is that? Without Sis on our side, Futaba's plan and subsequent breakout would have never been possible. That persuasion was easily our greatest gamble. We couldn't consult Sis beforehand. It was absolutely the make or break moment of the entire plan. Sounds like a very shitty put together plan to me. Still, I'm surprised you could convince me in such a short time. Were you confident you could do it? I was not all dumb remember drugs, yeah. Uh this is how I was, I guess. I see. So I like some man way, with I can't low believe bro. you went for mm. such a risky idea. If we could just tell you the true culprit's plan. I knew you'd realize the bigger picture. Realize that our leader was telling the truth, and that there was a greater evil to pursue. As a result, we emerged victorious. Then the reason you kept this a secret from me was so you could catch the true culprit, correct? Yes. Plus, you had lost control of yourself at the time. 
This is stunning. <laughs> All I can really do is laugh. I've kind of figured out that you guys made a catchy kill a fake. But what did you do about the body? The police never even checked it. Huh? They had a coroner working to ensure his death was reported as a suicide. That coroner didn't take one look at the scene and just passed along a falsified death certificate. The bad guys have that much influence? Murder in a police station would be reckless otherwise. Thanks to Futabachan's messages and the guard's demeanor, I eventually came to understand. And since the higher-ups at the police knew nothing of this, they were thrown into disarray. As a result, his suicide during imprisonment was reported on the news, just as a catchy planned. And with that confusion, he was able to escape with Mijima-san's help. I made sure nobody would check the morgue for his body, and thanks to that, nobody knows he survived. Thinking back to the interrogation, though, I can't believe what they did to him. The callous use of violence, and even drugs, is utterly abnormal. If he had lost consciousness, and hadn't been able to tell Sis about the phone, he would have died. I'm truly glad you made it back safe. Uh, it was a close call, man. It was a close call. I almost became one of your assailants as well. What does assailant mean? Is that like a bad thing? It still freaked me out when I saw the suicide on the news, though. We made sure to live normal lives while he was being interrogated, to avoid drawing any suspicion. Even with that, I couldn't help but worry for him in my heart. Well, I knew right away that her plan worked out. I wanted to believe, but considering what we were up against... Ryuji's a bit on the dense and carefree side. Can it, Cat? I had to be patient and avoid this place until things settled down. I finally feel relieved. We knew he was alive, but it was difficult to not worry until we could confirm it in person. Now that I think about it, my interrogation was just a formality for the head commander. What a joke, letting me interrogate someone who was meant to die. <sighs> they just wanted to avoid backlash. Very well. From here forward, I will do my utmost to assist you. You saved me, after all. That's reassuring to hear. I'll do whatever I can to help, too. Just let me know. Let's take a break for now, though. This old brain is pooped. Oh, and feel free to use the first floor when you guys want to get together to talk. You'll need a hideout where you can be safe. Just say the word, and I'll close shop early. Are you sure? This guy can't leave. Plus, you won't make much progress if people can hear you from downstairs. It's not like this place is the liveliest joint in town. It won't be a huge loss for me. Let us accept his offer. What a great man. <laughs> My question is like, how do I do stuff? Go to the shops and uh, do all the school stuff and social links? Because if everyone thinks I'm dead, or does the rest of the world not know who Jatok who I was. Do they not know that I was Joker? You know what I mean? I don't know. Trophy good. That sounds familiar. It's me, Akechi. Enter. That's the death certificate of the principal offender, correct? Is there a problem with it? No, nothing in particular. More importantly, You've done well with regard to the prosecutors. The cause of death for the SIU director has been settled as a stroke. I had him work quite substantially on forging evidence. His loss should be mourned. It was thanks to his efforts that I could enter the Phantom Thieves interrogation room too. The SIU is in disarray with his death. I'll take my time choosing a successor after the elections. At any rate, I'm now praised as a hero, and I owe it all to the Phantom Thieves. All possible hindrances are now gone. There's no doubt that this election is mine. <laughs> okay, dude. 
I don't know, man. I feel like the world and games and everything always paints politicians to be like the most horrible type of people. And I really wonder if that's true or not. And on to our next story. The snap election for the House of Representatives. Discussion is swirling around potential nominees as the deadline for candidacy announcement nears. Candidates will announce on the 23rd of this month, while voting will be held on the 18th of next. Elections, huh? Eh, don't matter to us. It's not like we can vote in them yet anyways. Why don't we resume our conversation? Well, the Phantom Thieves are back together. We can finally take it to Akechi and the bastard back in him. Have you figured out who's behind all this? Akechi accidentally let that slip after the murder. He said, Shido-san. Shido? Feels like I've heard that somewhere. He is unmistakably a man of power if he has such strong connections to the police. Shido? Could it be Masayoshi Shido? Uh, who? I believe he's a politician. Remember Ryuji? He said his speech was too loud. For real? It's certainly possible that Shido is the mastermind. Huh? Do you have some kind of evidence? Nothing material. However, there are various conditions which align with that possibility. First, he would profit from damage done to the current administration by the psychotic breakdowns. He's maintained a negative stance toward the Phantom Thieves and has gained tremendous popularity. On top of that, he'll most likely become the next Prime Minister if he wins this upcoming election. No! Did he set us up with that election in mind? If he is behind all this, that would be in stark opposition to his honest public image. So his current position and popularity is just him benefiting from the mental collapses. We'll make him have a change of heart, no matter what it takes. Mom. <sighs> Shido, huh? What is the matter? I had a feeling he was wrapped up in all this. Just based on the connections I had from my previous job. I think the one who crushed Wakaba's research and confiscated her materials was probably Shido. From the moment Wakaba died, I had a hunch he was involved. But there wasn't anything I could do, so I chose to protect Futaba and went into hiding. Why didn't you say that sooner? You guys would have definitely gone after him if I had. He would have just killed all of you, no doubt. That's what he usually does to people who get in his way. Originally, I was looking into the mental shutdown cases. It was then that I accidentally stumbled upon government research regarding the psychotic breakdowns. So, I tracked down the whereabouts of that research data and met with the associated parties. Boss was one of those parties. I would never have imagined all of this was connected. The mental shutdowns, psychotic breakdowns, Shido, and even the Phantom Thieves' actions. Way back when. Shido kept saying he was going to be Prime Minister one day. Nobody believed him, though. What's going to happen to this country if Shido becomes Prime Minister? What about the world? The issue is simpler than that. This is nothing more than yet another selfish adult trying to impose his will on the public. We gotta expose that rotten bastard! Yeah, we'll do it like always. Then let's check the nav. Masayoshi Shido, the guy running for Prime Minister. Got a hit! Well, duh. Ain't a surprise he has one. Where would the location be? What kind of things go through a politician's head? I always think of dirty money and shady actions. What does he do? Uh, and where? We don't got a clue about this guy's life. His palace must be somewhere that politicians frequent. Any ideas? The diet building is a very easy option. We got a hit! How arrogant must he be to see himself as the ruler of the diet building? Our next target's the big shot politician Masayo Shishido. We're gonna do this, right? We have to. What about a catchy? Uh, we have to, I guess. Hell yeah! 
Nobody against it? Of course. He will be a worthy opponent. Let's win this together. Time for revenge. Then it's unanimous. All we gotta do now is figure out what he thinks that diet building place is. So that's the app that allowed me to enter the metaverse. An old fart like me can't wrap his head around all this stuff. We'll have to deal with this before election day, December 18th. That means we need it done by the 17th. It's best we hurry before they discover there's no body in the morgue. Should we start tomorrow then? We can meet at the diet building after school. That reminds me, what are you gonna do about school? You can't show up if you're supposed to be dead. Ms. Kawakami said he went back home for family reasons. That's what I told the school. Don't let him find out you're alive then, alright? This whole thing would be for nothing. Okay, but seriously, how the fuck do I finish the social things I've left then? Excuse me, game? The social things I've left is uh, how, which I have to do at school. Uh, Anne, and uh, Futaba, and uh, the death persona. It's a Kemi, correct? So that's gonna be kind of a problem if I cannot go to school to do Haru social link. I'm just saying this is a problem. What do you mean? This operation had another purpose outside of escaping Akechi's clutches. Shido tried to place all the blame on the Phantom Thieves and deceive the public at the same time. He has ruined countless lives and even made Goro Akechi a student assist him with assassinations. A mere change of heart is too lenient a sentence for such an abominable criminal. We'll be making use of the police statement that the leader of the Phantom Thieves committed suicide. Our leader, who is presumed dead, will come out of hiding to deliver a grand statement. He'll say he has escaped prison, not committed suicide, and was in fact almost killed by a criminal. <laughs> Everyone's gonna flip. You guys thought through all this stuff, too? We're intellectuals, you know. That's why you needed such a daring trick as getting captured and appearing to be killed. <laughs> what frightening teenagers. But the true battle has only just begun. We won the first round, but we must stay on our toes. Yeah, this ain't the time to be celebrating. These people tried to trap and kill us. There is no end to their inhuman, conniving nature. We will need to be prepared for whatever may come our way. I finally made it this far. It's already been two and a half years since we met. Back then, you were in the media's attention as a young politician who could rise up against bureaucracy. Because of that, those who wanted to preemptively deal with problems tried to tie you up in scandal. To think I would fall for the ruse schemed by those decrepit fools in power. I recall that's when you came to me. You promoted yourself saying you had special powers. If it wasn't for the research on cognition that I dabbled in, I would have thought you insane. I made those troublesome opponents psychotic and erased any trace of that scandal. Who'd think that tampering with a person's heart could trigger a psychotic lapse or mental shutdown? And when someone like that said he'd support me, I had suspected there'd be an ulterior motive. It's because I sympathized with your aspiring ideology. I believed that your ideals needed to be achieved for the sake of the country's future. Well, my faith in you was precisely why I pulled the plug on that research. I only need you using that power. It'd be troublesome if someone else uncovered how it works. Wakaba Ishiki, was it? That researcher. She wouldn't have had to die if she just complied. Any suspicions should be snubbed out. Even the smallest doubt must be severed at the root. After all, we had an active public prosecutor's office director on our side until recently. Astounding, isn't it? To think the director himself often forged evidence to secure his promotion. He was quite surprised when you confronted him about it. He didn't know who leaked that information. Well, I got that out of his shadow, so technically speaking, he did it himself. This country's affairs have become stagnant. 
The political world is filled with old men who only act to preserve their own vested interests. The general public has forsaken such political affairs and don't even bother. Only ruin awaits us. I must agree. There's no need to be ruined along with such incompetent fools. I will lead this country to its revival. Those who get in the way must be eliminated at times. That's the correct way to use the metaverse. Still, it would stand out if there were continuous deaths and scandals with your political rivals. Which is why I made them suspects. Prosecute the targets that I turn psychotic, and solve them as cases unrelated to you. And thus, the charismatic Ace Detective was born. Thanks to your efforts, my clean image remains untarnished, and I've monopolized public opinion. Once I gained public sentiment, collaborators from all sectors began approaching me on their own. The police were no exception. With their management in my pocket, keeping them in check was easy. When the Phantom Thieves emerged, I thought things might become somewhat troublesome. And they were just brats once we looked into it. All we needed to do was lay the blame on them. When you told me that, I knew then that you were the better man. Their popularity was a bit beyond my expectations. But flipping it made the negative press stronger. After that, all I had to do was openly berate them. I've been gaining more supporters since. The current administration is dead with ongoing scandals. Never mind the fact that they're my doing. Even the government parties have begun splitting up. And they're dissolving just as planned. <laughs> the time has finally come. Just a little more and I will take the seat of Prime Minister. However, inauguration isn't my goal. That's when everything truly begins. I'll make this country rich for the sake of its selfish and ignorant masses who can only rely on others. In other words, you're creating a powerful country that can compete with the world. The public resonates with my ideals and follows me. And for that, some sacrifices can't be avoided. That is my duty as the Chosen One. Your assistance has been very influential in making my plans proceed smoothly. When I become Prime Minister, I'll grant whatever wish you want. With this most recent case, my name has become known across the country, perhaps even the world. Surely my story will be passed down as a hero who won against monsters that could control people's hearts. I believe I'll lay low and devote myself to my studies. I suppose with your age, you wouldn't come up with debauched desires. I am thinking about the future, though. I mean, we don't actually ever figure out what Ketchi's goal is. Anyway, sorry about this very boring episode, guys. Lots of talking, lots of uh, Guess he won't be going stuff. To Something we have to go through. Don't worry about it. This will be a breeze compared to what we've had to face so far. I really thought we did go and back we'll to school. I'm very all confused. The time to come up with the plans together. I'm very confused why we don't go to school. To be perfectly honest, I don't really care what happens to Shido, one way or the other. But when I consider the fact that he's your enemy, I naturally think he's my enemy as well. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stay with you until the very end. Oh, Magana's so sweet. Always knew Magana was a sweetie. Yeah, guys, it's like a freaking 40 minute episode of just a shit ton of talking. There's more talking to come, guys. There's really nothing well, I can do. There's really like no goodness. gameplay. Looks like things have finally settled down. Life's gonna get real busy for you starting tomorrow, right? Get some rest. Well, the then. Chief's right. Let's hit the hay. No, speak to Magana. That reminds me of a relationship with Akechi unexpectedly grew stronger, didn't it? Even though Akechi was talking to the fake you at the time. That's true. Akechi met the cognitive you in the palace. I don't know what he said to that version of you in there, but we should make use of this. And if nothing else, it shows our operation was a smashing success. Yeah. Oh, by the way, the police reporting your death isn't going to show up at your school, no need to worry. Seems Posky Nijima worked out some kind of deal with the higher ups or something. I mean, they haven't even said anything to me, even. As long as you stay quiet, you'll be fine. <sighs> and I guess if they reported your death now, they'd basically be saying you were a phantom thief. They can't really go announcing what the phantom thieves are, so I'm sure they'll avoid that. 
Stop trying! Remember how I hijacked your phone during the school trip? That kind of came in handy. How so? Well, remember how I put that wiretap app in the kitchen's phone? Basically, that let me see GPS info for two phones, yours and his. Now, what can I do with that info? I'll be able to tell the precise moment Sai Nijimo, who had your phone, ran into a kitchen. That's when I saw my chance and beep sent the signal to activate the metaverse navigator. But there was a chance they would just pass each other without saying a single word. That's why we needed you to tell Sai Nijima to show the phone to Akechi. Oh. This plan still surprises me with no matter how many times I hear it. Still, I couldn't just directly hack into the Metaverse nav. It's a mysterious app after all. But you know how it has that bookmark function? All you have to do is push the button. Making the phone think he was pushing that button was totally doable. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good, huh? Yeah, Tabi, you're a genius. I'm gonna head back. I guess I head home. Go to bed, alright? Sleep. Futaba going too? Oh, Futaba's staying with me, man. I almost died at a horrible time, Futaba. I need some uh, 10 11 care. You know what I mean? You get what I'm putting down, if you understand what I'm saying. All super bad jokes aside. So, we got like three days of literal just talking and more story stuff. Apparently, Kitchi arrested the Phantom arrested the leader of the Phantom Thieves. He's a hero! I'm so glad Kitchi's back. I hope they can catch the rest of Phantom Thieves too. He really is amazing. Is he though? Is he though? I'm just saying. I don't know. There's no point in even having an election. Shida's gonna win! Of course, he's the only reliable politician there is. Plus, the current government has been getting wrapped up in scandal after scandal. Even more importantly, there's just an aura about him like he can fix whatever problems we have. Honestly, it doesn't really matter to me who does it. I just want to see our society back on track. Especially after it turned out those fantasies were nothing more than scum in the end. We'll show you. So I just want to point out that if you guys think about it, Cheeto is actually a cool guy. I know it's weird to say that, but Cheeto is actually a cool guy. Like, his goals and aspirations are legit and make a lot of sense, and I'm actually behind a lot of them. But, you know, it is kind of a situation for me where I always feel like, uh, if I say that, it kind of puts me in a bad light. So we know the way he's going about it is wrong, but his end goal, I'm actually, I kind of agree with. I heard you went home, so I announced it during homework. Are you okay? I am, thanks. You're a bad teacher. <laughs> uh, yeah, I am, thanks. You're alive. The news is reporting you committed suicide. Can you call me when you can? I was so confused. But as long as you're safe, don't worry about school. Just take care of yourself. Hot. Oh my god, best game 10 out of 10. I've never played a game this good in my entire life. Okay, once again, I honestly don't think we can do anything, by the way. I think we literally just have like multiple days of nothingness. So yeah, is it true that the leader of the Fan Thieves died? How could the police let him commit suicide in jail? They need to get their shit together. Quiet down, you're in class. Break's been over for quite some time now. I swear you're like monkeys in the zoo. Hmm, oh yeah. I received word from Trophy's family that he'll be absent for a bit. Jeez, what do you people think school is anyway? It's almost time. It's not even close to almost time, but you know, okay, whatever. It's almost an entire month, but it is what it is. Hey, it can't be true, can it? Please tell me you're okay. I'm all good. Ooh, thank God you're safe. That suicide report was all over the news, and Miss Kawakami said you went back to your hometown. I was honestly worried about contacting you. Even Sakamoto was dodging the questions when I tried to ask him. But don't worry, I won't tell anyone. By the way, the fan site is a real mess right now, but I'll keep supporting you from the shadows. Good luck. I just got a chat message from Oya. Some crazy stuff is going on with the fan thieves. Are you okay? I'm fine. Really? That's good. It's chaos over here because of the fan thieves. You're still alive, so you must be scheming something, right? I gotta prepare myself for one more mountain. But I'm glad you're okay. I'm busy, so I'll talk to you again later. You don't need to worry about it in here, but try not to do anything to draw attention. Anyway, it's day's day off, so eat your curry and take it easy. You can take your time with it too. It's not like any customers are gonna sh be showing up. And even if the cust customers okay. do shop, they don't know who I am. Let's try and think of the keyword once the chief's curry has energized you. The keyword is a boat, or ship, or yacht, or cruiser. Beep, 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 beep. Have you guys figured out the keyword to Shira's palace yet? I tried all sorts of stuff, but not like so far. It's hard to understand the thought process of a criminal mastermind like him. You know, I've been wondering, if he's been behind all those motor shutdowns, doesn't that mean all the weird accidents from these past few years were his fault? 
like the subway accident back in April. Now that you mention it, that accident lost the Minister of Transport his job. Wait, are you trying to say that Shiro caused that accident? But it's the subway, does he not care about all the innocent lives? This man seems to be truly unbelievable. Supposing there are still tons of victims from that in the hospital even now. Ma Masayoshi Shiro, how many has he killed over the years? How could we ever understand what goes on in the mind of such a whole man? Hey, wouldn't it be faster if we just go there and try and think about it on site? Let's try that. We're going to go. I'd like Pam to join, but... What the fuck? Will that be okay? Won't somebody spot in there? Uh, we'll probably figure out the keyword in no time once we're there. Plus, I can throw off anyone who tells us with my blazing speed. Alright, let's have Plan and Quinn join us there. Remember though, we're going with the intent of not being seen. Okay, well, let's spin in front of the diet building and force that bastard's palace open. Well, Once again, I just want to point out that they, the police never actually released what I look like to the public, so no one will know who I am. Alright, let's head to the diet building, make sure you aren't discovered, okay? Once again, game. They never released who I am to the media, meaning no one knows I it? am the phantom thief. You going out? That's the plan. You gotta be kidding me. You realize you're done for if you get caught, right? She's the stunts you pull sometimes. Just don't stay out too late. Seriously though. Seriously, has, has, has no one figured out that they don't know who I am? No one knows she who I am. Here. I don't understand. Let's begin at once. Police cars are making rounds, so we can't stay here too long. We already have Masayo Shishido and Diet Building. All we need is what he thinks of this place. Maybe Mount Fuji, since it's the highest place in the country? Conditions have not been met. What about a mansion? Since he's going to subjugate everyone as Prime Minister, perhaps a school? What about an arena, like the Colosseum? Imperial Palace? Conditions have not been met. It's no good. I thought we would have gained entry by now. Maybe we shouldn't have called you here. Hey, you think he's guarding his whole palace with a barrier? Shido stole the cognitive science research, right? Or maybe it had some special move written in it. Is that even possible? Who knows? I've got no idea. There was nothing like that in the notes I saw. Anyways, what kind of person is Shido? I can't figure him out. I did some light research on him last night, but I couldn't get a grasp on the type of man he is. That man over there is probably a legislator, right? I'll try asking him. Excuse me. I'm a member of the newspaper club at my high school. May I speak with you for a moment? Sure. What kind of person is Representative Shido? What's he think about the national diet? His stance is dedication for country. It's how he's garnered everyone's trust. He's an admirable man of action with a first-class determination. I'd say he's a model politician. I believe that he'll help create a wonderful future in which young adults like you can live in ease. That sounded like the most Exemplary scripted answer. shit I've ever heard in my life, dude. What the fuck? It makes sense he wouldn't tell teenagers anything unnecessary. Look over there. He's on a walkie-talkie. Wait, is it about us? That doesn't look good. We should leave at once. Tomorrow's a day off, so let's have an early strategy meeting. Meet at LeBlanc, okay? We should all think about this tonight. I mean, I know it's a ship because obviously I played the game, but if I didn't think it was a ship, what would my first guess be? The criminals calling themselves the Phantom Thieves are no more. I would have guessed a temple shrine type deal. Like one of those shrines you always see in animes, those temple anime shrines. That would have been my first guess because he sees himself as God. So my guess would be like that would be where you would go to pray to God. So that would be like what his palace would have been. However, 
I believe that this country's citizens are still living their days in anxiety. These scandals only increase our distrust of the current government. As a citizen myself, I am enraged. Look who's talking. What does it mean to be a politician with responsibility? Working toward personal gain without consideration of the country is outrageous. <sighs> the election's public notification is tomorrow. But no matter where I go, people are cheering for Shido. Everyone's being deceived so easily. I wouldn't say easily. It's a couple of years work. A bunch of competitors take it out an entire year of framing and setting up the fantasies. A shit ton of money, bribes, buyouts, murder. I wouldn't say easily. Me personally, but you know, I'm not a genius, so I don't know if it's ever. <gasps> beep, 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 beep. I tried looking to shoot his interviews on up online. They all sound so goddamn fake. I checked his profile as well, but I couldn't find much outside of his title and education. He's currently 50 years old and has gone from being a metropolitan assemblyman to representative. Though he is a cabinet minister, he split from the ruling party to form the United Future Party. Shido is a cabinet minister? For real? He was specially appointed to this position, and that's his current title. Apparently, he also won a contest for who people would most like to most like to have as their boss. Even the news sites write about him as though he's sure to become the Prime Minister. If only we could find out the meaning behind Shido's words. In order to save this country that has been tainted by villains, social reform is essential. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> I like that ugh. That was nice. That was just like a little sweet ugh. You know, it felt good. Beep, 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 beep. Shido's reputation is truly astronomical. It's preposterous. This isn't the popularity level of a normal politician anymore. What's so great about him? I seriously don't get it. He's a strong leader who protects his citizens. Well, supposedly, is everyone blind? We we'll just need to shed light on who he really is. By the way, is it okay if my sister joins us tomorrow? She's hoping she can be of help as well. Fine, mummy. That would be great. Okay, I'll tell her that. Okay, we'll figure out the keyword tomorrow for sure. Okay, Haru. If you're so positive. So this whole episode is going to be this um, entire, like... It was a setup. up she was the bad guy, Shido's the real bad guy, and now we have to catch him in that type thing. What's with all the love for Shido? I bet no one knows the truth about him, but it still creeps me out. What the fuck is this? Hello? Why? Where did this come from? Where? A hood? Or something when you're out in places where someone might recognize you, okay? Uh, no. What about this? Can I do this? Fenty's incident came to a shocking end as the leader committed suicide after arrest. Someone eats assisting for police to take responsibility for failing to prevent the suicide but most of the public is praising Go Kechi and his team for stopping the fan thieves looks like we're already looks like we already pulled the wool over their eyes we better act now before they realize let's not do that today sleep if only we knew the keyword the keyword is ramen shop I knew it. All Shido really wanted was to open his own little ramen store. You know, he watched Naruto. He thought it was really cool. He wanted to have a ramen store. And his parents said, no, you'll become a politician. He wanted revenge for that. And that's why he did what he did. That should put an end to the case. It's just like Shido san said. We can't go wrong leaving things to Masas Masayoshi Shido. Shido san's going to be this in this election too, right? Politicians that come out promising. 53? Is that considered young? Sounds like an old ass person to me. He looks great for 53. I think he looks amazing. I hope I look like that when I'm 53. I'm just going to put that out there right now. But then again, I guess if you look at all politicians who use these old useless men. Which I don't really understand. Beep, 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 beep. My force reading said that you're okay, but I'm still worried about you. So please let me know. I'm fine. I'm relieved to hear that. You appear to have avoided your destiny of death. However, I can't see anything past that. Please be extra careful. If you're unsure about anything, I'll be waiting at the usual spot. I think we're supposed to get messages from all the people we maxed out social links already, but we haven't maxed out Tai, Haru, Anne, and Futabi yet. But we should have had Last Tai. One. Diamond mine. <sighs> no good. How many do we miss? Perhaps he truly does have a barrier up. Right? That's not something to be excited about. We know all the way up to diet building too. 
So you enter keywords into the Metaverse Navigator. Boss, can you turn the TV on? Shido might be on it. Sure thing. Goro Akechi. Him and his stupid composed face. So, Akechi-san, is it true you withdrew yourself from the media as part of your plan to capture the Phantom Thieves? I truly apologize for causing such a stir. Honestly, it required a lot of courage to openly oppose them when their popularity was at its peak. I mean, people often lashed out at me online and whatnot. Then was it also your plan when you said they weren't at fault after their popularity declined? That was to catch them off guard. I could say I applied my profiling knowledge. Once they lost public support, someone they thought was their greatest enemy lent a hand. That's the same strategy used in romance, wouldn't you agree? Why is he being treated as an ace detective of justice? It's not just on TV or online. Newspapers, magazines, I see his face everywhere. On the other hand, no one's hoping for our comeback on the fan site. Like, at all. The Phantom Thieves are evil. Shido and Akechi are just. It should be the other way around. They're manipulating information using the media. Leaving Akechi aside, we'll get back at him later. Our main issue is Shido. Were there any instances before when you didn't know the palace keywords? Well, there was the time with Futaba. We didn't know anything about her, so all we could do was make conjectures. Then why don't we just go directly and see Shido? That's impossible. He's surrounded by bodyguards and followers all the time. There's no way high school students can get an appointment with him either. Well, we do have an adult with us. No, that's still impossible. <laughs> I like Besides, the, the way they all look at the side like that. <sighs> well, this is a problem. What's with the ruckus outside? To everyone gathered before Young and Jaya Station. Isn't that an election campaign car? Oh, right. The candidates are currently campaigning. That voice. I apologize for the commotion. I am Masayoshi Shido. Wait, did he just say Shido? Yeah, he did! It sounds like the same voice I heard back then. Mm -hmm. Man, talk about being lucky! <laughs> we can go check him out without an appointment now! Haru? Haru was very quick to go. Oh, but I guess Haru's really mad. This is the guy that was pretty much responsible for the death of her father. So it does make sense that she would be really, like, like eager to go. I just would have expected Anne. Hey, okay. hey. she ran off toward the station. This way. Hurry! By the way, did something happen? It didn't seem well a moment ago. Which way, Morgana? This way? Must I go? Are you guys coming? What's happening over here? Mm -hmm. Listen. I hope... Luigi doesn't try anything. We all stand out too much if we all go together. Please investigate on your own, Planet. So the one behind the death of his father may be out there. Please check it out, Planet. I'll just wait here and buy my time. Okay, you guys, you're fucking useless. Now is the time to bro. Wait, shit is speaking. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Now is the time to rebuild this crumbling nation. Our government is littered with scandals. The criminals have taken a strong foothold in our society. Such a disgrace, the past must be discarded. We must set sail into a new future of dreams and hope. Set sail. He literally says it. Ooh, listen to these guys. Hello. 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 Shido? Is it that Shido? He's here? Where? Where is he? Whoa, this is amazing. Let's go check it out. I mean, I like Shido is the problem. So our children who carry the burden. Oh, wait. So our children who carry the burden of the next generation can be proud of their country. So our nation can once again become a powerful one with abundant wealth and luxury. So our beautiful home will be acknowledged as the best country in the world. I mean, it kind of already is though. Like really? Is that guy Shido? That's right, he's a strong admiral man. Even more than dad? Well, yeah, I'd say so. Shido is a wonderful person. Wow, that sucks to be a dude. Oh my god, this camera angle. This is what happens if you try and pet one hand, guys. Hmm? Do you want to listen in? 
As he should have done sometimes when I'm walking around town, I get to shake his hand. He smile really left a big impression on me. I've been hearing a lot about this shit of our hook popularity is and all that he's got to offer. Yeah, I'm playing the game with one hand now because my other hand is tucked very nice and neatly under my blanket. Because it's kind of cold today. It's like really, really cold. And uh, since I was just having a lot of dialogue speak, I was like, I don't want to have both my hands out in the cold. I can have I one out in the cold and one under the warm blanket. You guys wait here. I'll go get intel for us. Wait! Hey! Yo, Shido-san! Stand back. I just want to talk to him for a sec. He's a busy man. What the hell? Ain't he supposed to hear a citizen's comments? That's enough, Brad. You're that asshole we met at the hotel before. At the elevators. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm sorry. sorry. So you can butt in front of other people if you're in a hurry? What are you talking about? That moron! Come on, stop! But these guys... Hey, kid. You don't want to know what happens when you cross me. That voice. It seems the customer base has changed since I was here last. Had they started in daycare? A show. Get lost, kid. Damn brat! I'll sue! This man. There's no mistake. He's the same man as the one from before. What are you looking at? This country is filled with clueless children. I worry for Japan's future. Let them go. My next appointment is coming up. <laughs> What a piece of shit. So what do you think after seeing him in person? Why well, he's why I got arrested. He's the one who accused me. Wait, he's the jerk you told us about before? The same guy? For real? Seriously? You're sure, aren't you? Shido's the one who ruined your life. Holy shit. I don't believe it. Let's get going, okay? It took me kind of long to figure it out, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm kind of like a little bit embarrassed how long it took Jackie to figure that shit out. Shido's the guy who set you up? What kind of fate brought you two back together? Wow! Did I ever tell you guys the story about the man with the long no- <laughs> Just kidding. It's definitely him. I want to know myself. Is it just a coincidence? It's definitely him. Talk about a destined connection. Shido was involved in the cognitive research too, right? This can't be dismissed as just a coincidence. God. What the hell's going on here? Shido was already a politician then. Yet he sued a student and ruined his future? He must have pulled some strings so that his name wouldn't be mentioned. Furthermore, he also would have had to force that woman into making a false statement. He would do anything. We're talking about a man who ordered a hit inside the police station. He can't sit still until he crushes whoever opposes him, no matter how trivial. He's always been that way. He's actually smart. What a piece of shit. Children are the future, my ass! What he's saying and doing are completely different. But now that we found out who did it, can't something be done about his record? Once the courts have made a judgment, overturning that decision will be difficult. It'd barely be possible even if proof of innocence is presented and Shido admits to his crimes. At any rate, we need to trigger a change of heart in him. Be that as it may, Shido's outer appearance and his true face are wholly different. It's beyond hypocritical. It's as if he's an entirely different person. He speaks about the good of the country. It makes me wonder what really is on his mind. That man's full of ambition to rise in the world. He only thinks of the weak as stepping stools for his success. He treats himself as an elite man while looking down on others. That's the worst. 
I assume the keyword for what he believes the diet building is will be despicable too. Not really. It's actually kind of nice. It must be something self-centered and completely different from politics. Someone like him needs to be punished as soon as possible. Let's head to the diet building again right after school tomorrow. I feel we'll get it this time. <sighs> Stewing over it won't get anywhere. We have to do this. I want Sai in my party. Why is there no Sai in your party? I've just got a super cool badass um, persona. Her persona can like um, focus gun and physical abilities while nulling almost any other ability. Oh, it would be so fucking cool, dude. The guy behind everything turned out to be your arch enemy. What an oddly poetic, poetic twist. My arch, I had an arch enemy. Hey, hit me up. What do you need? Huh? Whatever. It's cool if you're all good. I don't need nothing. Stop by the shop if you want some weapons. Sweet. Well, I'll help you out. Let's get some payback on Cheetos. Sleep. Mm. Oh yeah, those clothes. You stand out if everyone else is wearing their school uniform. It might be a good idea to wear your uniform when you head out. I will. I should wear my uniform tomorrow when head out to when I. I'll, I should wear my uniform when I head out tomorrow. Is what that said, but I can't read, so it was kind of hard. Seems like there'll be a higher voter turnout at this election. It'll totally be an easy win for Shirokun. It really got famous from all the fan thieves business. He's on track to become prime minister. Guess I should be on Shiro's side. Look, I personally am just impressed with Shiro. I think the man played it, played it really well. He knew exactly what he wanted to do. He did it. He wrecked these people's faces and now they're all very upset about it. You know what? Good on you, Shiro. I'm on the Shiro support train right here, baby. Ironically, I'm in a train too, so it all comes together beautifully. Okay, I want to just make sure this recording is running. Okay, it is. It's actually been paying. I've actually been paying attention to the news lately. Aren't you proud of me? Don't you leave it on hoping that I catch you over there. Well, not that I blame you. He is a real hero. I think Masayoshi Shiro is even more amazing though. He's the first politician I've ever believed in. Oh, I know Shiro's son too. Sounds like he really wants to improve the country. Can't they see they're being lied to? We have to do something. Listen, listen. No politician would ever manage to deceive me. I'll tell you why. Because I don't trust any of them already. Any of them. It's not true that Fan Thieves leader died, right? Trevi son, respond to me if you're okay. Everything's fine. Thank goodness. I was really worried. I thought I'd never see you again. Man, it's such a relief to hear things are okay. Well, if you need anything, I'll be at the arcade. Yeah, I almost died. Let's go play games, guys. I mean, that is probably what I'd do. If I actually almost died, the first thing I'd probably do is want to. Uh, the first thing I want to do is eat if I can, and then play games. That would be my order. Um, I hope this isn't checkmate. It's a reverse pun, baby. Thank goodness you're right. You're such a bad student. Hiding the pieces isn't allowed, you know. Well, if you need anything, I'll be at the church. I also got a chat message from Yoshida too. Friend thieves have been on the news business, so I was wondering how you're doing. Are you going to give up without accomplishing your goal? Nah, I'm fine. So you're okay, that's a relief. I'm expecting great things from the better thieves. If you need anything, I'm happy to help my comrade. See, I'm not gonna get a message from Ty, even though I should have, because I should have been maxed out time and month. It feels pretty weird seeing you around on a weekday. You're taking off tonight, right? Sheesh, you're such a risk taker. Listen, make sure nobody notices you, okay? <laughs> we have to do something about the keyword for sure this time. Security guards became suspicious of us last time, so we can't stay here for long. But we still have no hit. Think it's a barrier after all? <laughs> <laughs> Where'd your enthusiasm from yesterday go? We just wanted to be a barrier, guys. Can't we just give him a barrier? Shut up. The real game starts at two outs. Enough chatting. You should only be thinking about the keyword. The citizens are secondary. He only cares about his own well-being and that of his lackeys. He wants to become prime minister, even if it means trampling on others. Fortune, rich people. Hey, can you think of anything based on what you've heard from him? Just try saying anything. It doesn't matter if you guess. Gundam. Like you just need to shut your mouth and follow where I steer this country. Okay, so a car, a jet, a plane. Steer? Is it a ship? It was a match? What? The diet building's a ship? 
Sounds about right to me. What scenery will that be? The actual buildings on land. I can't even begin to imagine what it will be like. It's actually a really cool palace. Well, whatever it is, looks like there are no barriers. God damn it, Ruji. Oh, sh shut up. Let's hurry up and go in. He had one dream. clear of the guard's sight. Get closer to the wall just in case. All right. Do it. We didn't even move. We didn't even move. What do you mean? You just told us to get closer to the fucking wall just in case. And then we didn't even move a millimeter. And we instantly went right in front of the guards to the metaverse so they could see exactly what we were doing. Excuse me, game. Hmm. Did anything change? We went in, right? The security guard seems to be gone, but it's difficult to tell for certain. This seems to be similar to what happened with Sister's Palace. But this time the diet building remains unchanged. Uh, the gate wasn't open earlier though. Wait, Wait look, Mona's appearance is different. That means we're definitely in a palace. Hey, Come on, let's go take a look. I like how Anne is always the first to notice a Morgana. Anne is always the first to notice Morgana. How's it look over there? So See sweet. Anything? No, Cute. Totally normal. Cuddly. I'll check it out. Huh? What the heck? What's Futaba up, Futaba? Futaba's so cute. <laughs> Futaba? Hmm? What is it? <laughs> the hell? Huh? It is very cool. Even though this country may sink, he alone will survive. That's what this cognition is about, huh? It's such a cool palace! I think it's really cool. It's probably like one of the coolest uh, with Sai and Kamishiro. A country that children can be proud of my ass is completely sunken in his head. If a guy like this stands above everyone, we're seriously done for. This is beyond ridiculous. The same goes for Akechi. He should have seen this scenery as well. Yet he still aided Shido. What in the world is he thinking? Whether it be for glory or for simply a reward, my father died because of someone like this. We gotta sink Shido instead of this country. A palace with not just the center of the distortion, but the entire country sunken. I can't believe there's someone with this tremendous of a desire. Be careful. This will be completely different from past palaces. We're definitely gonna take his treasure. Let's go, baby! All right. We must put an end to this by December 17th, the day before the elections. Let the infiltration begin. Time to pay him back for setting us up into a trap. It's that goal. This game is so good. This game is actually so good. But on that good note, we're going to have to end the episode Wait. there. If our clothes aren't changing, I guess he doesn't see us as a threat yet, huh? Speaking of that, shouldn't Platinum's... Platinum... Shouldn't Platinum have been disguising himself in the way here? Uh, seeing someone in disguise with a bunch of kids in school uniforms would be super weird. You got but we won't have to worry about any of that once we steal the treasure. Let's do this. Let's do this and save the game. Okay. Now that's going to end this episode. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe button and all the other buttons. I know it was a little bit of a boring one with just a lot of text and dialogue and story. But that is part of the game, guys. Persona is a very story-driven game, and it's why I love it so much, and I hope you loved it too. If you guys want to support me out directly, please look at the links in the description below. It's super really duper helps a lot at the moment because of where I am in my life and unfortunate changes that have occurred. So I'd really appreciate any support you can throw them away. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time with more Persona 5.